As you're heading into 98, do you know all about Michael Donlan? Is, is, this the sec- is this the moment you've been waiting for, his emergence on the senior football team? Well, I didn't realise he was so good. I'd watched him or whatever because uh, just going back into the midst of time, and I suppose this is where Gaelic and friendship and links, Sean Og and myself were in Jarlison in 83 to 88. So, like, that's where we And just, and if it, Sean doesn't mind me saying this, I, I had been, we'll say, captain at Belclare National School, I was on it for a few years, and I, I distinctly remember Sean O the first time I saw him and the absolute phenomenal talent he had. Father Joe Feeney was our coach, and it might have been 40, and this is old Jarlis now, I suppose, it might have been 40 out on mm-hmm. a training field. And I kind of thought it was middling enough, and I remember this small man from Carrow jumping up, linking ball, and I said, wow, just the talent he had. And then he was our captain in 88. So, you know, 10 years later, there's all those linkages, but talking against myself here Corfin were playing Dunmore in a in a league match maybe in 94 95 so I was centre back and this young lad Michael Donnan was there and I was saying let's see what you've got here buddy and he just went by me like I wasn't there the pace the real raw pace he had and also the Meehan's Decky Meehan was there John Cannon was a little bit unlucky that he didn't make our squad I suppose for different reasons and Tommy Meehan there was a serious crop coming out of that so I was at that Hogan Cup final and I remember thinking alright these guys are serious and Michael Clotterty who was on our panel as well was midfield on that Gerald's team so I think sometimes and this is unfortunate for the subs if you're in the 1 to 15 people remember that and on our 98 team and we, we'll let the lads go back to Gerald's the only positional change in the six championship matches including the replay was right half forward that was the only position that got changed in those six games so we had some fantastic subs as well like so that was Shea Walsh coming in for the Shea, final Shea Walsh Fergal Gavin no but number 10 changed all the time when Paul Clancy got injured but no those Gerald's players and you know Lord Rest Ollie Hughes and Joe Long these guys they were serious talent Ogie, you, you, Ogie was our senior captain and Jar, did you win a Hogan Jar? No, we lost a replay in 1990 by a point to Mahara to the double. So. Yeah, but like just going back to Donlan there, right? Uh, I suppose he, it, the Connor campaign for Michael in 98, he was fine. You know, he wasn't brilliant. He didn't set the world on fire. But you could see that once we had qualified for Croke Park, like the the kind of self confidence that he had. You know, I mean, I suppose if every player is honest with himself, maybe the first couple of times they play in Crow Park, there's always a small element of, will I perform on the mm. biggest stage? But him, like the self-confidence, and that came from, I suppose, his his family tree. I mean, his dad had done it. His grandfather had done it. There's a lot of pressure so, with that as well. Well, yeah, but he responded to that pressure, you know, in... Spades. In in spades, yeah. Like he was he was exceptional in the semi final. But those guys like Donnan was exceptional, like he was just a phenomenal player. Like when he took off Was he doing that in, in club games all the time as well? Uh, yeah, he was just a special, special player. Like at, at full pelt he was uncatchable, but I think forwards win games. You know, forwards win all Ireland's and jazz beside me, but like I remember back in China a championship match one one day as well. I think it was might have been ninety four or something, or maybe ninety five, I don't know. But I went out marking him anyway and I said, Okay, I'm gonna give him everything I had he was been younger so he rattled him as hard as I can and he knocked me and I said ah that's bad now so plan B I stood off him and he kicked it over from 40 yards and I remember shouting to the sideline and I'd be one of my one of my best tweets was I knew when I was in trouble shouting I need help here like so Ja Joyce Donlan uh, Finnegan was underrated Sabo like they were serious boys like and like we were down uh, we had a bit of a union what did we do last year in Kerry there's a good old crack and I was talking to Seamus Moynihan I mentioned 2000 and the respect that the likes of Seamus Moynihan has for the likes of Jeff Allen was good for me to see because you know I realised that I wasn't making it all up about him <laughs> <laughs> no but Moynihan my story is as follows in 2000 we Ja and Manion were both injured and I, I went slagging the Kerry lads saying oh if we had the boys in 2000 who knows and Seamus Moynihan said to me Ray we wish he had them because then if we'd won it we would have done it with your full cohort there and I thought it was a fantastic mark of respect for him but come back to Don and Don and Don and in all the time I played club football our county football no one had paced like him lads absolutely nobody yeah no he like he'd always uh, like send out a kind of a, a training a challenge to anybody you know that he'd race them the length of the pitch but that whomever he was racing would get a head start they could start on the I think it was the 21 and he always said I'll catch you doesn't matter like so um, I'm not sure whether anybody kind of took him on like but like his his 0 to 60 was you know was phenomenal yeah. his speed like the only guy that could manage him on a consistent basis was Declan Meehan like Ma- Michael would win the first two or three he would just burn you like there was no but Decky was phenomenal as well his nickname was Tasmanian Devil or Chopper or 
he'd had this little way of talking you'd hear this <coughs> behind you and Decky would just go like he was absolutely amazing he w- so Donnan he'd win if you 10 own hundreds Donnan would win the first three and maybe the last but Meehan Declan Meehan as well was a phenomenal player as well and thank God for my sake he was playing as a wing forward <laughs> back in those days 